The SR700 is a battery-powered fan unit that, together with filters and head top, is included in the Sunstrom fan-assisted respiratory protective device systems. Assembly Remove and charge the battery. The charger carries out charging automatically in three stages. One, orange. Two, yellow. Three, green. Put in the battery pack. Assemble the belt on the fan unit. Filters. Read carefully the user instructions accompanying the filters. The fan unit may be used with only particle filters, P3R, model number SR510, with filter adapter or SR710, which provides protection against all types of particles, both solid and liquid. Check that the gaskets in the filter mounting of the fan unit are in place and are in good condition. Snap the particle filter SR510 on the filter adapter without pressing onto the center of the filter. Screw the adapter into the filter mounting so far that the adapter will be in contact with the gasket. Then turn it about one eighth of a turn further in order to ensure a good seal. The pre-filters SR221 protect the main filter against excessively fast clogging. The pre-filter holders also protect the main filters against handling damage. Fit a pre-filter into the pre-filter holder. Press the pre-filter holder onto the filter. Head tops. The breathing hose is not included with the fan unit but is supplied with the relevant head top. Mount the breathing hose in the fan unit and read carefully the user instructions accompanying the head top. Operation Performance Start the fan by pressing the control button once. The symbols on the display will light up and the sound signal will sound. The fan starts in normal operating status, 175 liters per minute. Switch between normal and boosted operating status, 225 liters per minute, with the control button. To switch off the fan unit, keep the control button depressed for about two seconds. The battery symbol lights up with a yellow light when the battery capacity is low. Triangle lights up with a red light if the airflow should cease or if the filters are clogged. Small fan symbol that lights up with a green light during normal operation. Bigger fan symbol that lights up with a green light during boosted operation. Warning system alarm signals. In the event of airflow obstructions, a pulsating sound signal will be heard. The red warning triangle of the display will flash. Action. Immediately interrupt the work leave the area and inspect the equipment. If the particle filters are clogged, a continuous sound signal will be heard for five seconds. The red warning triangle in the display will flash. Action. Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change the filter.
If the battery capacity is lower than 5%, a sound signal will be repeated twice at intervals of 2 seconds. The yellow battery symbol of the display will flash. Action! Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change charge the battery. Performance check. The performance check should be checked on every occasion before the fan unit is used. Check of the minimum flow. Check that the fan is complete, correctly mounted, thoroughly cleaned and undamaged. Start the fan unit. Place the head top in the flow meter. Grip the lower part of the bag to seal around the breathing hose. Grip the flow meter tube with the other hand so that the tube points vertically upwards from the bag. Read the position of the ball in the tube. This should hover at a level with or slightly above the upper marking on the tube, 175 liters per minute. Checking the alarms. The equipment is designed to provide a warning if the airflow is obstructed. Provoke an airflow stoppage by gripping, by shutting off the flow meter outlet. The fan unit should then initiate alarms by sound and light signals, putting the equipment on. Take the fan unit on and adjust the belt so that the fan unit is firmly and comfortably secured at the back of your waist. Start the fan. Put the head top on. Make sure that the breathing hose runs along your back and is not twisted. Taking the equipment off. Leave the polluted area before taking the equipment off. Take off the head top. Switch off the fan. Release the belt and remove the fan unit. After use, the equipment must be cleaned and inspected. Disconnect the breathing hose and the filters and install the plugs. The plug kit is used for cleaning or decontamination of the fan unit and prevents dirt and water from entering the fan housing.